Since the beginning, fishing has been part of life on the Crystal Coast. And this stretch of water is no secret to either anglers or the fish they seek. Marlin, wahoo, tuna, and other species wade offshore, while reds, flounder, sea trout, and bluefish swim the inshore waters. There's always something to catch and plenty of boats to put you on the fish. It's as good a fishing destination as anybody could ever want. Captain Dale Britt has run offshore charter trips for the better part of three decades. You know, we've got a, one of the best charter boat fleets on the East Coast right here in Moorhead City. We have sailfish, blue marlin, white marlin, yellowfin tuna. We have giant bluefin tuna that are here during the wintertime. And a lot of folks think they've got to go to Mexico to catch a sailfish. But they don't have to spend that much money. They can come right to the Crystal Coast and catch sailfish. This 53-foot boat, Sensation, built locally by Jarrett Bay Boat Works, takes groups of up to six into the heart of the area's best blue water fishing. Maybe we'll get a bite today. I hope so. It's a wonderful place to live and it's a wonderful place to come fishing. Some people might be happy with the collection of fish the sensation caught on this day, but not Dale. It was a slow day, he said. Makes you wonder what a good day looks like. While these waters attract passionate recreational anglers, they're also a draw for the hardest of hardcore tournament pros. Guys who make their living on the water. Guys like Rick Murphy. One of the things that's really neat about coming all the way up here to North Carolina is the fishery that they have. The thing that really, to me, stands out in my mind is you can see a fish, him see you, he kind of moves off, and if you give him a second to relax, you can throw a jig over there to him, and you'll end up catching him. The inshore waters of the Crystal Coast were the perfect place for the Alberto Redfish Cup Series to end their season in 2007. We've been to Moorhead City now. This is the second year. They had the all-star event the same weekend last year as they had in this year. They always tie it in with the seafood festival, so they have a real big crowd for the weigh-in. I believe that the people of North Carolina really love to fish, and they were out there today. But the granddaddy of all fishing tournaments in this area is the Big Rock. Each summer for 50 years, boats full of anglers have descended on the Crystal Coast looking for one thing, blue marlin. The summer waters seem to be filled with these majestic billfish, making the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament one of the biggest events of the saltwater tournament year.